we are heading into Goodwill. Oh, that's a scary entrance way to do a little pick in today. We are in Warren, Ohio. But first off, can anybody tell me why I always get the rickety, rickety cart? The one with the wheel that never works. Yeah, have you ever had that happen to you where you grab a cart, you get, you push it, you're excited, you get halfway up through the store and it sounds like the wheel wants to fall off the cart or like it's all going to just shimmy and shake apart. That was today's situation, but we are not turning back. We got this cart, we're committed and look, we saw this up ahead. So yeah, we just kept going face forward. I love this pair of um, book and holders. Okay, so they got some chips. That's okay. You know what I got? I got some gold paint for some touch-ups. Not going to be a problem at all. Love this little candle. I paint candles myself, so I could appreciate that for a second. I'm seeing lots of shells filled with uh, candle wax. I love this. You know I'm drawn to the mosaic stained glass stuff. This is a pretty heavy base. And then this piece that sits on top is beautiful, a candle holder. As I was picking it up, I saw that it had like, I think I showed you there, the one edge just was broken and the mortar was missing. But I thought, you know what? Maybe that's not a big deal because once it's sitting on the base, and I'm like, oh no. Now that it's sitting on the base, I see that it's got more issues. Do you see there by the tape? So yeah, that's smashed glass. That's a no-no. I don't mind so much if like I have bookends or something like that that I can do a touch up on because I'm doing this for resale. And um, it's, so it's gonna be important that I don't have anything that anybody can get hurt on. But those bookends, I can put paint on no problem. I can't fix glass chips. 250 candle holder, interesting. You have my attention. I liked this. It's plastic, surprisingly. I thought it might be heavy. This here is party light. You guys told me in a recent video, I asked, and you said that party light is indeed still in business. I see a ton of party light decor on Goodwill shelves, and I especially love that star design, but they went at $3.99, and usually for something that size, I pay maybe like, I don't know, 99 cents to $1.99, so I left them. Now I'm on to the frogs. Buddy, I don't know what's going on. I, you're not a shelf hanger. I don't know. Why are you like that? <laughs> I don't know what they were supposed to do. I saw this piece. It's got a pocket in the back. Are you supposed to put um, florals in there? I'm not sure. Four fifty, I believe, was the price on that one. And then I found this chalkware which you guys tell me chalkware is good um, for reselling, that it's, you know, people want it. I just don't want the fruit, you know? I'm just not the fruit person. Love to eat it, just don't like to see it on my wall. I could live with the strawberries, though, um, so I was debating that one. They had a few little nicks missing of, the, like, the color, so I left them there and went on, but I was in my head debating, should I grab this, the bunch of strawberries? I like that color in that small vase. You see that green and that yellow? It's a cool combo. Some bone china. And then I thought this was a pig. Nope, fooled you. It's a bear. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. And then there was a unicorn. Unicorns have been selling well for me. But do you see all that black, like the smudges all over it? Yeah, lots of marks. I just didn't want to paint it, so I left it for somebody who would love it. See, we are in Frog Town. We are in Frog City. This is where this Goodwill is located. Leisure place for frogs. This guy is out doing some fishing. Unfortunately, his pole broke. Some old perfume bottles here. Look at that, the way they're made. Another frog, but this guy's doing better. Yeah, this is definitely Frog Central. But look, he's got fish, so things are working out for him. His fishing spot's a lot better. There's a swan back there. Oh, I like you. Oh, that's a cute little dog laying down there. I missed him. There's a lot of stuff on the shelves today. Today we are in Warren, Ohio. Warren, Ohio. Um, definitely Frog City between us. That's what we're going to call it. Cute little trinket box. 
good price. More cowbell. We need more cowbell. Another trinket box. Two fifty for this one. Oh, I like you. You're two fifty. Piece of decor. May put some gold on this. May not. We'll see what happens. But I love that with the fleur de lis. Those grande pieces. Did we just see the small version of this guy somewhere? This one. Oh. Maybe it's a can't. Maybe it's um, it's four fifty. So that price point was a little high, um, but it looks like a sandcastle, and it feels like a sandcastle. It feels like that when you um, step on the wet, wet packed sand right next to the water. Yeah, that's amazing how they made that. You are a piggy, indeed. A dollar fifty. Anybody out there collect pigs? We. I was talking to Matt. Um, yesterday we were talking about, about how just there's like some animals that were really heavily made into home decor pigs is one swans is one I love this and owls I love this and frogs this piece right here okay it's gold it's shaped like a moon but it was in more frogs but it was in rough shape um, but I'm guessing it's maybe a floral holder an old one I like these this brown color when I see it in my brain, I think, oh, is that a vintage dog cup? Uh, it's like that that old brown, warm, caramelly brown color. But they're actually new, and they're super cute. So you guys know that I've been picking up more and more uh, mugs and cups. So I was these close to getting these. I'm doing the check. Huh, oh, you all? Yeah, you guys are in great shape. I may be back to visit you. Matt actually found this piece here next, and it is a authentic piece of Wedgwood. Very beautiful. It does have some chips and crackling on it, but overall, it's a pretty amazing piece, and it was, what, $1.50 or something? So we thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get this. Um, it does have some wear and tear, but maybe somebody would love it for, even for a pen pencil caddy. It's very beautiful. That Wedgwood blue, not the ripoff of the Wedgwood, but the actual authentic dark blue matte Wedgwood is so beautiful. This says Syracuse China, $1.50 for that set. And butterfly, so we're gonna check that out. Oh, I like this plate. Look at all those colors and the leaves. Oh, wow. It was $4.50. I thought it was old, and then I turned it over and I saw Summer Living, which I don't even know that brand, but it looked like a newer plate. Really nice, though. I saw this and I'm obsessed. I need to find a new version of this for myself. This one's missing one of the spreaders and it was a little beat up, but look, can you see? Yeah, you're putting, you're putting cream cheese on your bagel out of the toaster. Look at these little spreaders. I don't know what the last one was. It's missing it there. That is the cutest thing ever. I want one of those in my life. This looks like maybe an olive tray. Line them up. Put your stuffed olives. Love these vases, the black and the gold. Oh yes, grapes, grapes. No, run away. Hiss, hiss. All right, let's show more. Yeah, let's leave them there and show more of the gold side. These were really nice. So right now I'm picturing me putting my flower pots inside of these and letting my potos and my spider plant leaves just drape all over the outside. So nice. That's a great way um, just to kind of elevate a space, put your regular, you know, plants into something cool like that. I think this might be a replica of a corn husk doll, but it was ceramic. And I like these, but they're silver, so they lose points for me. And that heart, I don't know. I'm just not somebody, you know, add the hearts to the grape list. I just, they just don't do it for me. I don't know, in decor. So they were 350 each. Would you have taken them? Uh, would that have been something that you'd be like, yep, get my cart, I'm going to take you home? These bottles are nice. We have quite a few bottles. Um, and we use them for decor in the shop. 
we purchased a pretty large um, amount of stuff from a, a pharmacist clean out here in um, Erie, Pennsylvania, where our shop is. And there was boxes with the dust, the authentic dust bunnies, but they were like blue and red and amber and clear. Matt found this. It says reef. It's a wreath, wreath, but we were laughing because it is as big as a reef. I mean, yes, it could be a coral reef. That was one of the biggest wreaths ever. Then I saw this grouping. You know how yesterday in the vlog, um, I picked up a bunch of candle holders, the gold and silver ones. They were brand new from at home with all the tags. Like that's another example of a bunch right there. So sometimes I wonder if stores do closeouts and they get down to the point where they just deliver the boxes of the new stuff. And then you, you're, you go in the Goodwill and you see a ton of stuff, like, you know, new stuff on the shelf. And it's all like, I love this. It looked like $19.99 originally, um, $2.50. Yeah, two fifty each, so that make them five dollars a set. I could easily flip these. Oh my gosh, let's snag them. They're beautiful. I love finding you here. They got two sets of these. I'm so excited about that. Uh, when I got up to the very end, bookends are really good for a sale. When I got up to the end and I checked out, the cashier said, "Oh my gosh, you got such great finds. I love this and I love that." And she was in love with this as well. So this one's four fifty. It's a brass uh, candle holder. I don't know if it's like lotus inspired or what you would call that flower but um i was debating that one i saw the black cat sitter which i wanted to get but he's got a broken tail so he's gonna sit there and heal and relax a little more this is a set of baskets for 9.99 they look brand new they were still zip tied together but that was a good deal for the quality of those and how heavy they were yeah, three fifty. I think that's a Bath and Body Works piece. This is a bag of goodies. I've seen that recently. The remember the fish? There's this back right there, salt and pepper shakers. So cool. I did like those. Okay, so I'm having a conversation with Matt here, and we agree. Yeah, our peoples would love this. We should definitely take this piece. Look at all of these. Imagine finding you here. This piece here, um, I love just to look at that. And we were debating, what are you? And we think it might be a paper towel holder, but we wondered, you know, how sad, it's so beautiful. You put your roll of paper towels on that and you never see how beautiful it is. It just hides it. This is the brown I was talking about here, this honey bear brown. And this is an old vintage honey jar, honey, it's a bear with a honey pot. And you put your honey inside, and it has a little place where you can put your honey stick in. I have purchased and sold these before. That one had a chip in the ear, so I decided to leave him. 350. This color is amazing. The sagey gray color. It's a newer piece. Matt is uh, now. Matt's found the toaster with the little spreaders. I'm telling you that. Yeah, it's just like a fly to a light. So cute. These were little glass pieces, and I am, I love glass, so I had to check those out. So this here, wasn't sure what it was. At first, I'm like, are these Hummel people? I don't think they are. Look at the back, now I see it is a lamp of some sort. Do the leaves light up? I do not know, I've never seen that piece before. Never before. This is cute, I like that. They have a bunch of tables here against the side, and just gonna have a browse through here just to see if there's anything. There's a lot of clear, pretty, you know, basic stuff in here. It overfloweth with plates and cups. But it's always good, you never know. Plus people pick things up and they put things down in other locations. Switzerland. I look back and somebody had put this on the shelf I'd never seen, 450. It's gorgeous, I love it, except look, uh, broken handle. You guys have told me so many times, you know, be careful when you pick up these things because those handles give out so easily. So if you're watching and you're out thrifting and you see something with a handle, let that be an example. So obviously it, it had broken. So I left it there for that reason. I like these. These are cute. Almost like stone. Yeah, like concrete style. Pieces Moroccan perhaps. So, um... 
in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to grab those little mirrors. Great to add to a gallery wall. I saw this piece. Dried florals, leaves. What is that? Rice paper on the back. It has a... Somebody was hanging it because it has the plate hanger onto it. I love that. I love that. I can easily flip this. And this, again, is going to go um, to somebody who falls who in my category of a cottage core lover somebody who loves those nature pieces to bring into their home very cozy ah so beautiful i was really happy to find that one some nice frames there didn't believe me frog central frog central all right let's go ahead and grab these so Matt's gonna load them up for me. Little mirrors and stuff like that sell. Plus it's really cute to decorate your space with that frog central, don't believe me. Take a look. Ooh, look at that weathered technique they did there. Cute little leaf. We have a look down here. Look at all those big, beautiful frames. Just waiting for somebody to come get them and put their favorite photo inside. These were amazing, $6 each. I debated getting these. Look at the size of these baskets. Yeah, somebody's gonna find those and fall in love, decorate them for fall, put them on a buffet, fill them with all kinds of seasonal decor. Oh, I love you. We're heading out to the checkout here, and I love you too. 